That's right. We are watching it again out there. Meg, we are watching three things that I think folks are going to be interested in this morning. Uh, the first tropical depression eight. I don't think you're actually that interested in that one. That one's going to stay out by Bermuda, not be a problem for us. Tropical Storm Fred, that may pique your interest. It's in the Gulf of Mexico and expected to make landfall in the Florida Panhandle today. Then Tropical Depression Grace got a lot of traction on social media last week and into the weekend as folks were seeing kind of these doomsday forecasts being thrown out by the models. But it's really important to keep in mind where Grace is right now. Very similar location to where Fred was uh, before we got a clear picture of where Fred was going. And the reason that it was so unclear when Fred was way out there is because it was moving over Hispaniola and then Cuba, and that led to a very disorganized storm. In fact, at one point over the weekend, if you're paying attention, Fred became the remnants of Fred. I mean, it wasn't even a tropical depression at one point. It got so torn up over those islands. Now, I think Grace will be a little bit different as I expect it will stay possibly just south of Cuba. And if it's able to do that, it may have a little more time to strengthen and kind of get its act together. Regardless, I think it's gonna end up staying south of us, which is what I know you're most concerned with. Let's take a look at Fred. Right now we're watching Fred on radar. We don't have to just watch it with satellites because it's getting so close to land. And what I'm noticing is that the National Hurricane Center has it plotted here. Obviously a very lopsided storm, but I'm noticing uh, a little bit of rotation there. That may actually be the true eye. It's a little bit easier to see on radar. So I would expect the National Hurricane Center to kind of update that location at 7 a.m. If not sooner. That said, you can see in blue where the tropical storm warnings are in effect for the Florida Panhandle. I expect that we'll have this making landfall later today, somewhere in the vicinity or just east of Panama City. Let's go ahead and take a look at Tropical Depression Grace again right now, as John and Meg mentioned earlier, uh, impacting Hispaniola spots like Haiti. Uh, gosh, they've been through so much and, and this is the last thing they need, but possibly some heavy or, or even flooding rain there. Then the storm, as I mentioned, may move just south of Cuba, allowing it to strengthen over those warm Caribbean waters and ultimately move into the Western Gulf. Let's take a look at temperatures there. My concern here again, provided it doesn't get so torn up uh, by Hispaniola and then Cuba and then the Yucatan. There's a lot it has to go through before it gets there, but possibly some rapid strengthening as it moves across that purple area, which indicates water temperatures 87 degrees or higher. But notice how it stays south of us. The reason for that is a big high pressure system that's going to build in late in the week and into the weekend. So I don't want to hear any complaints about the heat this weekend. Because again, that's what's keeping Grace away from us. Looks like we have some wraparound bands from Fred over in the eastern Gulf. That could send a few showers through spots like St. Bernard Parish and Plaquemines Parish and possibly the coast. But I think most of our area is actually going to stay dry today and we'll have a little bit of a northeasterly wind flow wrapping around Fred to help us out. Temperatures are in the 70s and 80s, and it looks like we'll be getting into the 90s today. 20% chance for rain, again, a little lower because of that drier air wrapping around Fred. But rain chances do go back up tomorrow through Thursday. Notice they're back down as we head into Friday and the weekend. That's that big high pressure system I talked about, and that's what's going to make it extra hot. But John, Meg, we're not going to complain about the heat this weekend because Again, those tropics are fired up, and if we get a big high pressure system that makes us a little toasty, that's okay. Keeps those storms away. Yes, no complaining. <laughs> You're with Christy agrees. I think it's unanimous, I'm assuming. No complaining. Right. Well, we make <laughs> would like to start off with I don't think any of these are going to be our problem. Let's talk about why. Tropical Storm Fred, that's making landfall in Florida today. We may get a couple of showers out of it, but I don't expect that we'll get a whole lot. We may actually have a drier day because of that system staying to our east. Tropical Depression 8 is kind of moving around Bermuda over the next few days. I don't expect it to be a big issue. Tropical Depression Grace. Grace got a lot of traction on social media uh, with some kind of doomsday forecasts being thrown out by certain models, but the change uh, is a high pressure system that's going to be building in along the northern Gulf Coast, which is going to keep Grace 
staying much farther south. That said, Grace is pretty disorganized right now and could get more disorganized as it interacts with Hispaniola today. A similar story that you probably heard us talking about with Fred last week. Difficult to say what something's going to do when we don't have a really good center on it. The center of that storm is so important for the future forecasting. That said, I do think that that high pressure is going to block for us over the weekend, which is when Grace will be making its way into the Gulf of Mexico. So I have a little more confidence now than I maybe did last week so far out. A little more confidence now that Grace will also not be a big problem for us. Let's look at Fred. Fred in the Gulf of Mexico right now. Certainly some heavy rain bands that are expected to push into Florida today. Tropical storm warnings are in effect there. Again, while we could get a couple of these showers kind of flinging our way, for the most part, we're going to get that north to northeast flow that's going to have actually some drier air being pulled in for us. And I think that helps to keep our rain chances down more than up. We'll be at about a 20% chance today. Obviously, rain chances over there in the Florida Panhandle much higher. Tropical depression grace. So here's the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center, but I know that's not good enough for you guys. I know that you want to know why is it going to stay south? Why is it not going to curve north and be a problem for us? Remember that high pressure I talked about? Well, right now that blocking high is steering it right through the Caribbean. Same high that kind of steered Fred and is steering Fred north around it right now. But as that high builds and shifts west a little bit, this is where it really starts to help us as we get into Thursday, Friday. Look at Grace. I mean, it can't come north. It can't move into that high pressure system. So it's likely going to be moving toward Mexico. Now, interaction with Cuba, interaction with the Yucatan, that could change things as far as its strength. I'm a little concerned that it could be a stronger storm moving across those really hot western Gulf uh, waters, but also, it has to kind of make it through all of this land interaction uh, before it gets there. So again, while I don't think it's going to be our problem, it'll be one to watch there in the Southern Gulf. Viper radar does show that we have a few showers right now, mostly in the marshy areas of St. Bernard Parish and Southern Plaquemines, also a few along the coast of Southern Lafouche. Looks like temperatures are in the 70s. We've got that Homa temperature coming in now at 75, 73 in Bogalusa, 81 at the airport in Kenner. All right, I want to talk rain chances. They're going to be going up. So today we've got that northeast flow thanks to Fred to our east. Tomorrow we don't have that so much. So we're going to start seeing uh, that humidity and, and that moisture in the atmosphere increasing. So rain chances increase. We're back down Friday, Saturday, Sunday as that high pressure builds in. High temperatures, those are going to be in the 90s. It's going to get really hot over the weekend, but we're not going to complain because remember that high pressure and those lower rain chances mean there's not a tropical system coming here and that grace is staying to our south. John, Meg. Well, that is good news. We like that. Yes. Stay away, Grace. Even if it means we have to deal with the heat. <laughs> right, right. We'd like the tropical systems to stay away. Absolutely. Love those highs. <laughs> yeah. With moderation. It's when, okay. When the timing We can is deal right. with it. No problem. All right, Christy, what's up out there? <laughs> show you this one because this is where we're seeing Fred right now. You can see those heavy rain bands, possibly the eye of the storm actually much farther north, uh, not much farther, but farther north and east than currently plotted by the National Hurricane Center. I expect another update from them at 7 a.m. Let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit here. Again, you can see that very heavy rainfall and I do want to check uh, showing you kind of the big picture and then showing you Fred a little more closely. A couple of other things that we're watching tropical depression eight out there by Bermuda. Not going to be our problem. That one's going to be meandering around Bermuda. So unless you have travel plans, uh, I don't think that one's going to be an issue for you. Tropical depression grace that one got a lot of traction on social media last week. A lot of folks getting worked up about some of those doomsday forecasts being thrown out by the models. But we've got high pressure that's going to help us out. So I don't think grace is going to end up being our issue, but it's certainly something that we're watching as it will be crossing the Caribbean islands over the next few days, moving toward the Yucatan and then ultimately into the Western Gulf. So let's talk. Take a look at Fred. This is what I wanted to show you. I suspect that the eye of the storm is actually farther north, and I can confirm that with the winds that we're seeing right now at the surface. So some of those buoys out off of Florida showing us that direction. Remember, you've got that counterclockwise motion around a tropical system in the northern hemisphere, and you can see that turn starting to happen right there. Uh, 
just north of where the National Hurricane Center has this plotted. So again, I think the eye is actually right around here. It is still moving northwest, so I think it may be able to get all the way to Panama City, but ultimately landfall ends up somewhere between Panama City and Apalachicola later today. For us, look what it's doing. The, the broader circulation here bringing in a northeasterly wind for us. So that's going to help us out today, bring our rain chances down a little bit. But let's talk about Grace. Grace is making impact uh, in Hispaniola today. Those poor folks, uh, they had the, the impacts from Fred. They had an earthquake over the weekend there off the coast of Haiti. A lot of stuff going on there, so certainly keeping them in our thoughts. But again, that is disrupting uh, this storm. So once it gets out over some open water, possibly staying south of Cuba, that's when it will have time to strengthen. I suspect it could strengthen even more once it gets over the Western Gulf, but that'll be something to watch because remember, it's got to get past Hispaniola. It's got to stay south of Cuba, and then it's got to get past the Yucatan Peninsula. So there's a lot of kind of speed bumps in its way, if you will, to becoming a strong storm. But there is some pretty hot water over there in the Western Gulf. Let's talk about why, because I know you see that cone and you're saying, yeah, but why isn't it going to turn north? Why isn't it going to make its way to us? And the reason is because of this big blocking high. So this high pressure system is going to build in. It's going to keep this thing steering straight west, and that's why it's not likely to be an issue for us. But it will make uh, for an interesting storm to watch because, again, it will be moving over very hot Gulf waters there in the Western Gulf. It'll be something to watch, but again, not to watch with concern for ourselves necessarily. A little bit of rain right now. Some of that wrap around from Fred in southern Plaquemines Parish and along the coast. But otherwise, we're looking mostly dry with temperatures in the 70s and 80s. We'll get into the 90s today and we'll do it tomorrow and the rest of the week too. We'll even get into the mid to upper 90s by the weekend thanks to that big blocking high. But remember, that's going to keep rain chances down and that means that a tropical system is not coming our way. So we won't complain. 528-88 is the number to call for that Delta World Tire weather phone. You can also download our Fox 8 weather app. John, Meg? You won't hear any complaining out of me. <laughs> John? As long as the tropics are clear for us, no exactly. complaining. Exactly. I'll, I'll take the heat, and by that I mean yeah. I'll stay in the air condition. Exactly. <laughs> when, I, when I walk outside and sweat later in the week, I'll say, thank you, Mr. High. Yeah. For the Mr. Night. High Pressure, thank you. Right, yes. That's what <laughs> Right, thanks, Meg. Here's what we're looking at for your tropical update today. There are three things out there that you're going to hear about. Tropical Storm Fred is making landfall today along the Florida Peninsula. Tropical Depression Grace is wreaking havoc there in Hispaniola again. And we're looking at Tropical Depression 8, which is up north by Bermuda. It's going to be kind of meandering around Bermuda. So unless you have travel plans to Bermuda, that one's not really going to be an issue for you. But let's talk about Fred first, and then we'll get to Grace because I know a lot of folks had uh, kind of concerns about Grace over the weekend and last week as there were some kind of doomsday models circulating around social media. I'm anxiously awaiting an update from the National Hurricane Center, which hopefully will come soon. But it appears to me, based on radar and these winds that we're seeing, that this system is actually uh, a bit farther north and even slightly more east than where it's currently plotted. Now, that would be where the low-level center is. I expect that bands of heavy rain are going to be whipping into Apalachicola and Panama City throughout the day today. Landfall, as just looking at the trajectory uh, on this radar loop, again, when we get a little bit, a lot of times we're using satellite to track these systems, but when we get a little bit closer to land, we can start using radar and that's going to be uh, about as accurate as you can get. What I'm expecting is it's moving slightly northwest, so we are still expecting to see that landfall near Panama City today. Notice on the other side of it, though, the winds are really wrapping around, which is why we're going to have northeast flow out there today and actually see some drier skies uh, compared to what you would expect with a tropical system in the Gulf. We'll only have about a 20% chance to rain thanks to Fred staying to our east. All right, let's talk Grace. It's kind of doing the same thing Fred did, getting torn up over those Caribbean islands. The difference will be rather than moving right over Cuba, uh, Grace is expected to stay a little bit farther south, so it may be able to re-strengthen <clears throat> over the Western Caribbean. Then it's going to impact the Yucatan, so that's another speed bump for it. And then it will move over the really hot waters uh, of the Western Gulf. And I know you're saying, well, wait, I saw something on Facebook last week that said Grace was going to curve north and it was going to be this big hurricane. 
That's why we don't believe things on Facebook a week and a half away, because now we've got this blocking high pressure system, and this is gonna be really good news for us. It's gonna make it hot, I'll tell you that, but it's also going to keep grace on that westerly path that we just showed you, kind of across the Yucatan into the Western Gulf, and most likely right back into Mexico. So the blocking high really protects the northern Gulf Coast. So we won't complain about the heat that it brings us because it's protecting us from that tropical storm. We'll remember that. Water temperatures are really hot over the western Gulf. So even though I don't expect it to be our problem, Grace is going to be one to watch. I want to see how how fast it ramps up. Does it stay a tropical storm because of all of that land interaction it has to go through? Or is it able to ramp up pretty quick, kind of rapidly intensify over those hot western Gulf waters? It'll just be something, again, to watch as it stays to our south. Here's a look at Viper Radar. You can see how some of those little bands wrapping around are shooting some rain uh, into Plaquemines Parish and across our coastline. But mostly we're getting that northeasterly flow that's bringing in drier air across most of the Fox 8 viewing area. So good news there. Temperature wise, 70s and 80s. We're looking at uh, mostly sunshine, but a few clouds being reported at the airport in Kenner. High temperatures will be in the 90s, getting even hotter this weekend because of that high pressure system we talked about. Rain chance wise, 20 to 40 percent uh, today. Well, 20 percent today to 40 percent tomorrow, and then we'll be back down into those low rain chances for Friday and the weekend. Meg, John. I mean, you know, I suppose somebody might look at that and say, is there anything about this high that, that could weaken or it just looks like pretty much a lock that this thing grace is going? It to looks rest. like a pretty strong high. Um, you know, you always are concerned about a system being disorganized and possibly uh, the center reforming somewhere else but not really when you've got a big high like that. That low pressure, whatever it is, after it moves off of Hispaniola, is still not gonna be able to turn into that high. So well, I'm feeling more confident uh, today, especially knowing that high will be here this weekend. Yeah, that's good. Keep that out of our hair. <clears throat> exactly. <laughs> All right, thanks Shelby.